Okay, so in this tutorial, we'll be having a look at the random effect. So open your browser here, go under MIDI effect category and just drag into random. And basically how random works is um, you've got three main knobs here. And this knob is basically the chance of the random actually um, being activated. So if I've got it set to 0%, it's basically like saying this is off, right? It, it, it's always doing the same thing. So if I set the chance to 100%, um, it will activate. And random works with pitch, not with vo velocity. Um, if you remember, the velocity effect has a random um, inside of it. So random, basically, if I set it to 100%, it will always be random now, okay? And um, basically, it's a bit weird, this effect. So you can see here, we've got two things. We've got choices and scale. So choices is basically the amount of possibilities that we can have. So if I set it to, um, to one, it will only be one. But note this, it never actually, it, it like adds one um, to it. So just note that, I don't know why they did it. So if you actually want to use it in random mode, um, you're gonna have to take a pitch in and do minus one, um, sorry, minus one. I was plus one and then it will start from here and then I can do two choices and then it will keep on alternating like that otherwise if I don't have that pitch it'll do like this I don't know why they built it like this it's kind of weird and here's when it gets even weirder if I change the mode here and set it to out um, basically um, this it kind of like adds one so if I actually um, do three choices um, it will just um, alternate between those three. But note that I, I don't need a pitch for this. So it's kind of weird. The random basically um, adds an extra pitch to it and the out starts from there. It's really confusing. I don't know why they built it like that. So um, the random is kind of um, useless, I guess. Um, unless you want to like create a glitchy light effect, I sometimes use it for that. The scale basically takes the choices and then it scales it up. Um, so then you can see you've got that and that. So it's basically multiplying the amount of choices that you can have. Uh, whilst um, when you're in out mode, um, what happens is exact, exactly the same thing. Um, um, this is, you can see it's always doing the same thing scale, but let's just keep it to um, three choices at the moment, or let's do four. Uh, so we've got a row. Um, oh, I, I didn't go. Okay, so we've got four choices at the moment, and if we keep it in random mode, it will just randomly select those and add it one pitch. If we keep it in the alternative mode, it can actually do some useful stuff. And this is what Nev uses, for example, in his projects, when he's got keys that keep on like playing different effects. Like if you press a button and it does one effect one time and then it does another effect another time. Or, and also for the, and also it plays one sound one time and then sound another time. I don't like this um, method that much because that means um, you can't improvise that much. You always have to play that note a certain amount of times, but, um, yeah, so this is how he does it. And you can also, you've got the sign. So this is addition. So it's starting from here and it's always going up. Then you've got subtraction. So it's always going down. Um, but then you need to start from here, obviously, because it's um, going down. And then you've got by, which is basically, um, it lets you go four down and four up. So it's basically, um, it's taking those four choices and saying, is it plus, is it positive or negative? etc. So that's basically how random works and uh, I don't use it that much to be honest so um, um, but it's good to cover it so just you guys know it's there and maybe you find it useful. So if you have any questions about it uh, write a comment uh, uh, below and I know it's confusing uh, the plus one thing for the two modes but hopefully um, you'll wrap your head around that. Um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed. Cheers and I'll see you in the next video.